this is Kenny Lee Burgess. In this lesson, we're going to work on Mississippi Blues by Willie Brown. But that's not the same Willie Brown that's associated with Charlie Patton. Now, I originally learned this song in standard tuning, and I used it to explore uh, open G tuning on a six string guitar. Now today, I'm going to micronize it down to a four string guitar. Now just consider this. On a six string guitar, the tuning is going from low to high, D, G, D, G, B, D. On the four string, I'm using the same tuning, but I just don't have the two lower strings. So it's going D, G, B, D. So you can see it's not that bad. Uh, to micronize it down because you can still alternate the two lowest strings, the D and the G, as you're alternating bass and play a, a majority of the treble notes on the first two strings. Okay, so in this lesson I'm going to assume you have some basic finger picking skills or possibly you work through the lessons on CD4. So this is going to be more geared towards the intermediate or advanced player. Now I'm just going to give you the basic kind of sketch of the song. So for those fills and the variations on the chords, you can just figure them out yourself. Now you'll notice that a lot of the song I'm just alternating the bass on strings 4 and 3. Now you don't have to always keep that steady bass. You could also add a little bit of monotonic bass. It's all how you want to do it. Now it starts with a lick on the third string. So what I'm doing is I'm sliding on the third string from fret 2 to 3 and then I'm playing the second string open. But because I'm starting with the bass, I do it with a little pinch, so I'm pinching strings 4 and 3 at the same time. And then I'm playing the third string open. So if you see, I'm kind of using my thumb. a little interval right here. That's a second string 6th fret, first string 7th fret. Then I play the first two strings open. the first two strings at the fifth fret. Play the first two strings open again. like it starts all over again. Now the little difference is you go from the fifth fret to the third fret on the first two strings. another little variation is that you put a lick in there and the lick is basically going from the fifth, fourth, and third fret like this. So you alternate the first two strings at the fifth fret and then you double it up on the four and the third. A nice little walk there. chord in the song. So first let me talk a little bit about the chords. The first chord is going to be a C7. So that's string 4, fret 2, string 3, fret 3, and then string 2, fret 1. Then the next chord you're going to do is an F. 
And that's string 4 fret 3, string 3 fret 2, and string 2 fret 1. So you got C7, F. And then the last thing you're going to do is a little, little power chord, a little E minor. So that's going to be a fourth string, second fret, and then the third string open. So those three chords. One more time. Okay, so I walk into the first chord. And that's on the on the fourth string. Uh, open, first and second fret. Then you put down the chord. And then you just play that little last chord. And that repeats twice. 